Alright, so this is an update from the metro.co.uk website. Now, other reliable sources are also reporting this, including the Hollywood Reporter and Variety. So, this is something that is legit. If it's even been reported on the What's on the Disney Plus.com website, and that is also a very reliable source for the world of Disney and Disney Plus. So, it is something that is legit and something that's happened and even a few people on YouTube have already made videos talking about this. So I'm going to talk about this myself as well because it's quite a significant update and it will have an effect in the Mandalorian universe and the Mandalorian franchise now that Gina Carano has been axed and she has been removed from Lucasfilm and the Mandalorian franchise. That's something that's happened. I do apologise about all the adverts as well that you can see. I'm afraid the website wouldn't let me see this story without deactivating the ad blocker I got. Um, so I had to do that this time round. Gina Carano will not be returning to the Mandalorian following, following mounting criticism of her abhorrent social media posts, which reportedly compared to being under Republican rule to Jewish people join Nazi Germany. The former MMA fighter played Cara Dune in seven episodes of the popular Disney Plus series from 2019 to 2020, because she did star in episodes of The Mandalorian for both the seasons of that and it was helping to set up the future of The Mandalorian and the ranges of The Republic uh, show, which I'll get into that and give you an update about that. I think this article may well point that out. If not, I'll let you know those plans anyway. However, a social media campaign gathered momentum this week with hashtag Fire Gina Carano becoming a trending Twitter topic, urging Lucasfilm to take action following Carano's post. The Fire Gina Carano and that hashtag on Twitter has, has trended before. I've seen it in the trending tab on Twitter a couple more, you know, a couple of times in the past. It's not something that's a new thing that's happened, but I did see it number one trending um, yesterday, so I can see I can see why Lucasfilm may have thought to see what all the fuss is about and probably take some action this time. In a statement, a spokesperson for the studio announced. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, a social media post de de denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. According to Variety, talent agency UTA has also dropped Carano in light of the controversy. Carano was alleged to have posted a now deleted post comparing being a Republican today to being a Jewish under Nazi rule. So basically, due to that, that's how Gina Carano has got fired from Lucasfilm. She's no longer going to be part of the Mandalorian universe. She's no longer going to be part of the franchise. So they'll have to explain in some way her absence in the Mandalorian universe. I'm sure John Favreau and Dave Filoni were probably preparing for that to happen anyway. This was probably something that was going to happen eventually, because this is a big thing, it's a big deal, but it's also something that's not that surprising to me, because it's not the first time that Gina Carano has actually got into controversy, especially on social media, that's been happening the past year or so, so it has been a problem that's been going for a while now. But I guess, the, I guess that a post fully pushed the line for Lucasfilm and, and also her agency company as well, which is why she's no longer part of future plans for The Mandalorian. But for 
Lucas film they were saying and they are claiming they had no future plans for the character anyway even though they gave hints that there might be. The post is reported to have said Jews were beaten in the streets and not by Nazi soldiers but by their neighbours even by children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realise that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government affairs made their own neighbours hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Carano, who is 38, has a history of being criticised for her social media posts and I don't see with her popularity... I don't see why she thought it was okay to post something like that because you really have to be careful when you're big especially and in Hollywood and you have like thousands or even millions of fans especially on social media having thousands of followers millions of followers you got to be careful with what you post because just posting one thing a lot of people are going to catch on to it even if you delete it even if you delete it an hour later or a couple of hours later, that's usually the case for most people when they post a controversial tweet or, or a controversial social media uh, post, it usually takes an hour or two for that to happen, for them to realise and see what's going on. But that's when it catches people's attention and by that point, you're, you're screwed at that point. Um, even if you post it and delete it, 10 minutes after, a lot of people are still going to have screenshots of it and traction will go around and it'll, it'll just be reshared. And that's something that's happened to, is, that's happened to Gina Carano and that's, and that's how this got the attention of Lucasfilm and her agency company and that's why she's lost pretty much all her work at this point, temporarily anyway. The actress has been accused in the past of mocking people wearing face masks for protection during the coronavirus pandemic and reportedly fueled disapproved claims of voter fraud during the US presidential election. She has made it very clear she is a conservative and she's made clear of her conservative views. And that's fine, you could be whatever part of the political spectrum you want to be really. But when you're a celebrity, when you're someone famous, when you're someone big with thousands of fans, thousands of followers, you really have to be careful with what you, what you share and what you don't share. Not everything has to be shared on social media. Obviously not everybody is going to be, not everyone is going to be agreeing with everything that's said by a celebrity, by someone famous. There'll still be disagreements. That's not what's happened here. That's not how controversies happen. Controversies happen when someone says something, especially someone famous, that is that doesn't have much proof, or it's false, or it's just a not very good way to look at something. And that's what's happened with the Gina, basically. That's just what's, what's happened with the Gina Carano. And there has been a mixed response to two Corona's departure from the Mandalorian, with the actress retweeting messages of support from fans, including one which read, Gina Corona inspires me to stand by my beliefs and to not bow down to anyone. I'm very small and rather timid normally when I'm targeted. I bow my head, well, no longer my voice, just like everyone's is valuable. So rise, my friends, voice out your opinions, hashtag we love Gina Carano. And also, there are others that are furious over her comments and also hashtag cancel Disney Plus became another trending topic over the situation. A lot of her fans especially that are unhappy with this decision got that hashtag trending. I was alerted about that by one of my supporters myself, but I'm not going to be influenced by that trending topic and by that trending hashtag. I'm not going to be one of those people that cancels Disney Plus just because an actress that I'm a fan of has got to, has been fired. To be honest, that's a very controversial statement that she made. 
and I think it serves her right. And I hope that in the future, she becomes a bit more careful with what she posts on social media. But some people just never change, so this so this may not affect her at all. She may still be the same on social media because she still has her supporters. If there's still the support, especially if there's still plenty of support, then most celebrities choose not to change. The Mandalorian, which is based on the Star Wars franchise, stars Pedro Pascal as the titular bounty hunter and Gina Carano's character Kara, often teamed up with the Mandalorian to, find his lo- to, to fight his longtime nemesis, remnants of the evil Galactic Empire. So I guess now Kara Dune will be ruled out and written out of the show in some way. So she won't join the Mandalorian cast for season 3, um, as that's due to be filmed within the next couple of months. Um, so she won't be joining the cast for that anymore. For Rangers of the New Republic, I do believe that project is still going to go ahead, but it won't include Cara Dune's character anymore. It'll probably focus on someone else. The, the Ahsoka... The Ahsoka show is also still going to go ahead obviously as part of the Mandalorian universe because that character is played by a different actress that's that's Rosario Dawson so that project is still going ahead anyway but I'm not quite sure about Rangers of the New Republic but if that show is still going ahead the storyline and the main characters that's going to focus on it's now going to change it's going to be a bit different to what the original plans were going to be, which they did start doing some setting up of the future of the Mandalorian in the second season for definite. That was more noticeable. For the first season, the setting up for the future of the franchise was less obvious, but in the second season, it was made more obvious that they were doing a lot more setting up of things. And that's not too bad, to be honest. That's all right. So yeah, just have to wait and see how they explain Cara Dune's absence, if they if they ever do acknowledge it. I really hope so. I hope they ha- I hope they do acknowledge it in some way and find a way to take Cara Dune out the story. They probably will. I'm sure I'm sure John Favreau and Dave Filoni are thinking of ways to take Cara Dune out of the story without actually having Gina Carano be there. So this is very interesting, it's very big indeed, and it's very significant. And this just shows that with the types of comments that Gina was making, because also another reason why Lucasfilm got rid of Gina Carano was because they could see that she was going to be a problem in the long term. She's going to continue to be a problem. As John Favreau and Dave Filoni did say that they knew that she was going to continue to be a problem and they just wanted to get rid of her while they could, basically. So it wasn't too late. So they weren't adding adding wounds to, you know, they weren't opening up the wounds and making those wounds worse, basically. But basically, they don't want to, they don't want the Mandalorian to have too much of a bad name. So, they got her for two seasons of the show at least. They tried to set up something, see if she would improve, because of, of things being set up, and with her character being more important in the show. Unfortunately, she proved to Lucasfilm and Disney. That she wasn't going to change and she was going to continue to be a problem and be controversial on social media. So they got rid of her while they could. And so did her agent company as well. So she doesn't even have an agent anymore. Which is very problematic indeed because that means she can't really get much work. So I have no idea what Gina Carano is going to do after this. It'll be interesting to see how she deals with this situation. Obviously, her retweeting support on her own account, that's just expected. 
most celebrities and famous people don't retweet things from their fans that don't sh that don't show support for them anyway. That's just how it is. So she may well have done that just because she wants to show whoever is not a fan of her that she has fans and she has support, and she's just re retweeting um, some posts from some of her fans showing support for her but what she did post is very controversial i'll go back to what she actually post but it's definitely something that no famous person should actually post in my opinion because it's very controversial indeed you know the way that the republicans work and the way that the nazis worked are very different even though the way that donald trump did work with his Republican Party. Some people did co compare him to the modern day Adolf Hitler, but in my opinion, it's definitely much more, it was definitely more toned down than the Nazis. Because if, if Donald Trump actually worked America as if it was the Nazi times, that wouldn't go down well anyway. He, he would eventually, you know, get into too much legal trouble for that to happen so that's why he didn't do it like that so comparing the republican party and having the conservative views and republican views um, and comparing it to the nazis and how they treated the jews in my opinion it's a bit of a stretch really it's a bit of a stretch and it's not something she should have said publicly she can think that, and that's fine. You can think whatever you want, can't you? You can think whatever you want, and that's fine. But some things are left, some things are best left unsaid. So she shouldn't have sh said this. She shouldn't have made the post. And that's all I have to say about that, really. But I wanted to make a video to talk about that, just to show I have seen the news. And also, I want to include more Hollywood updates, really, on my channel. Just, just to further show my interest in the world of Hollywood to people on my channel who are subscribed to me. And I am growing a bit on YouTube now, so I may choose to retcon whatever plans I had for other websites. Or I will create other types of videos for the other channels I've got at the moment on BitChute and on Dailymotion. I'm yet to think about how I'm going to work my content on the internet, to be honest, because I'm not really sure if I should actually stick with YouTube or not. Whenever I start growing on YouTube, that's when I start questioning whether or not I should actually stay on YouTube. Because me growing on YouTube and also on Twitter motivates me to stay and to continue so <laughs> I'm not I'm, I can't really grow as much elsewhere so I have no idea to be honest I know I got myself as a partner on daily motion so I will be making money from my content I won't be making any money from anything on BitChute so I may choose to post um, things with copyrighted stuff on over on BitChute and daily motion instead but I have to make sure there's not too much repetition everywhere. So if I want to do that, I'll make sure there's different videos on there and different content and that sort of thing. I'll find a way to work everything out. But all I, all I need to do is make a plan for that at the moment. So my restructuring plan is currently under works and it is, it is subject to change as I already said previously when I talked about it um so yeah but that's all I have to say about this article about this event I just wanted to comment on it and talk about it because it's a big deal really and this will severely affect the Mandalorian franchise because she was going to be a very important character in the Mandalorian but now she has been reconned out of it so she's no longer going to be that important character so there is that so yeah just have to wait and see there just have to wait and see what happens
But that's all I got. That's all I got. And that's all I have to say about this really. So I hope that you found this interesting in some way. Please let me know down in the comments below this video your thoughts and opinions on this situation. Your thoughts about Gina Carano, uh, Carano I should say. Um, let me know about your thoughts on Gina and if you like the character Cara Dune on The Mandalorian or not. Let me know your thoughts on this person and her, her social media activity. And let me know your response to this controversy as well and to to this situation let me know and let me know if you think that everybody should have dropped her or if you think that her talent agency should have kept her for a little while let me know let me know down in the comments below this video and join me for the next video bye bye for now